Welcome back to Casual Camping and Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that some people find gross, including me. Ticks. I hate ticks. I can't stand ticks. I have no use for ticks whatsoever, unless it's the 1980s tick cartoon. My favorite line from that cartoon is when someone asked the tick, Do you have the power to destroy the world? And he looked shocked and horrified and said, Egads, I hope not. I keep all my stuff there. But as far as ticks in the woods, no, uh, no, just no, no ticks. Especially doggo ticks. Especially ticks on the doggo. So we're going to show you a few ways to keep yourself from being eaten by an invading tick alien mutant. And doggos. And doggos. Well, we don't have a doggo with oh, us dang. today, but Danny's not with us. But uh, oh. we're going to show you some tips about tick prevention. Okay. Let's take a look. First thing you should do if you're going to go hiking in the woods is make sure that you tuck your pants into your boots. So I'm going to unlace my boot here and I'm going to show you exactly how I've done this. These boots are rocky boots. As you can see, they have been through the ringer more than once with me. Now inside my boot, I am wearing two pairs of socks. I've got one pair of socks under my pants, then I simply fold my pants over, put a second pair of uh, socks over top of my pants, and tuck the whole thing into my boot. And that way, a tick would have to be one determined little tick in order to crawl up your pant leg and bite you on the leg or crawl up into your underwear. I've never had that particular experience, but the very thought of it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. You just brought that on yourself, Paul. Yeah, I just brought that on myself, didn't I? Yes, you did. And now, with my boot laces here, you notice I knot the ends here. What I do is when I tie them, and then I pull, this, uh, the knots prevent me from pulling the loop all the way through. And then I double knot it. And yes, I know this is not military style blousing. This is not, uh, we're not in the military. We're trying to prevent ticks. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is your shirt. If you're wearing a shirt, uh, you should probably wear long sleeves with a buttoning or snapping cuff. However, this is Florida. It's 90 degrees out here and it's barely 8.30 in the morning. Uh, so I don't have a long sleeve shirt on, but I do have underneath this shirt, a compression shirt compression shirt has tight sleeves that a tick cannot crawl up and the compression shirt if you look here is tucked in so the tick cannot simply crawl up my shirt and get onto me because my compression shirt which comes down to about here goes all the way around and has elastic on the sleeves and elastic on the bottom and that is tucked in to prevent ticks from getting under my shirt or down my pants next thing we're going to look at a tick repellent spray. This one is by Sawyer. Warning, do not put this on your skin. Do not put this on your dog or your cat. This is made to treat clothing only. It comes with a spray nozzle. That simply you unscrew the cap, put the spray nozzle on, and you spray it on your boots, on the bottom of your pants. You can spray it on your shirt. And this stuff absolutely does work but do not put this on your skin. This is, this is not what you want on your skin and by no means should you put this on your dog or your pet. Another tick spray we're gonna look at, which we just got, I've, I've used this for years, but we got a brand new one um, from Amazon the other day because we ran out. Again, comes with a spray nozzle. Is this one, which is the uh, it's natural and deep free called the Nantucket Spider. This comes in an eight ounce bottle and this one has no DEET on it and is all natural. This is uh, oils and such. This stuff also treats your clothing but would not be uh, super harmful if you put it on your skin. Do not put this on your dog. A dog, if it starts licking it off, uh, can get sick from this. So for a dog, you wanna get uh, a spray that's intended for dogs. 
but you can treat your clothing with this. And the good thing about either of these products, and we will have links to both of them in the description below, is the fact that once you treat your clothing, your clothing will stay treated uh, anywhere from two to three washings. So you can also treat your tent, you can treat uh, anything that you're not going to eat with, you know, so you can treat your tent, treat your backpack, treat your clothing, treat your boots. Uh, just spray this over uh, your items and it absolutely does work. Ever since I've been using this stuff, I have not had to pull a single tick off of myself. Uh, so tick prevention. Ticks can create a plethora of health problems. Not only are they simply the most disgusting critter on the planet, and they just creep me out the way they burrow in and stick their heads up under your... No. Uh, but they can give you Lyme disease, certain types of ticks, as well as a plethora of other problems. So keep the ticks off of you and prevent it to begin with. Tuck your boots, tuck your shirt, or wear a tuckable shirt underneath. I recommend a compression shirt because you get that tight fitting that the ticks can't crawl under as well as the moisture wicking properties uh, and use some type of a tick repellent. So those two I have used for years uh, to great success. I have uh, nothing but good things to say about the effectiveness they have on preventing ticks. So thanks for joining us in casual camping and just talking about ticks. I feel like I need a shower. I'll see you next time.